the laggy stream can be very frustrating for everybody involved. So if your stream looks like this, then there's a problem. But you clicked on the perfect video. What's up guys, I'm Ryan Burris with Ride Tech Gaming and in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix your laggy streams and go through a bunch of different settings that I've found to optimize your streams quite a bit. Also guys, if you watch to the end, I will show you a few different tools you can use to analyze your specific streams while they're online or offline. These tools will definitely help you get a better understanding of what's going on with your specific stream. So watch to the end to find that out. All right guys, so just a disclaimer, when it comes to troubleshooting PC issues, the number of causes for each individual issue can be pretty much endless. There's always a million different things while something can be going wrong. So for the sake of this video, we are gonna be sticking to the major causes of a laggy stream and the fixes for these issues. With that being said, if you still have issues after following everything that I've mentioned in this video, I do have a Discord. Go ahead and hop in there if you want some help. There's other streamers and myself that are willing to help you guys if you have anything that you need. Also, I do stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, links in the description below. So you can hop in there and ask me some questions live and I'll try to help you out as best as I can. So when it comes to a laggy stream, it's usually caused from one of two things. It's either your internet speed or your PC hardware. One of these two things, sometimes even both, are overtaxed with the settings that you currently have set for your stream. How do I know which one's the issue? Well, I'm glad you asked, voice that's clearly not my own. Come on guys, just, just go with it, okay? All right, thank you. So the best way that I've found to figure out which one's causing more of the issue, you're gonna wanna open up your broadcasting software of choice, whether that's Streamlabs OBS, OBS Live, Stream Elements, or any of the other many, many softwares that you have. So open that up, and then you're gonna to wanna to go to your internet browser and open up your stream there as if you were a viewer watching your stream, and you're looking to see if there's any discrepancies between the two. So if your internet browser is showing that your stream is lagging, but your streaming software is not showing any lag, then it's most likely your internet speeds that's causing the issue. However, if you see more of a lag on the broadcasting software itself, when you get alerts, or switching scenes or anything like that, then it's most likely your PC hardware. Another thing you can look out to tell is if you're running Streamlabs OBS and OBS Live, I believe, I'm not sure about Stream Elements, they have a few different meters, the bottom left-hand corner. For Streamlabs OBS, it's a little bar graph. You can click on that and you can enable four different options. So you have the option to show the frames per second, the bitrate usage, CPU usage, and any drop frames. So if you wanna kinda of get an idea of what's going on, you're definitely gonna to wanna to enable all those just to kinda of see. They will also change colors on you if they're getting a little overtaxed to give you a better representation of what's going on. So the first setting that we're going to adjust is going to be the output resolution. And we're gonna drop this down to 720p. And wait, wait, before you say that you wanna stream at 1080p, just a heads up, that 1080p and 720p aren't much of a difference, especially when you realize that most people are watching Twitch on their cell phones. So you're not gonna see much of a difference between 1080p and 720p. And also for reference, 1080p is gonna be about 2 million pixels. 720p is going to be just under 1 million pixels. So that's a 50% drop in load on your internet and your PC hardware. This gives you a lot more room to play your games at a higher frame rate. And it doesn't tax your internet nearly as bad. And if you're anything like me, which I'm a graphics snob, so I want my games to look visually as best as possible. So you can run your stream at 720p, but you can still run your games at whatever resolution that you like. So if you wanna run them at 4K, 1440p, 1080p, doesn't matter, you can run them like that, but your stream setting is going to be down to 720p. So to recap, output resolution, go ahead and drop that down to 720p, and that'll be a 50% reduction on both your internet and your PC hardware without much of a visual difference. So the next big thing we're going to change is bitrate. And this is tied directly into your internet speeds. So down in the description below, I have a link to speedtest.net to test your internet speeds. And what you're looking for mainly is your upload speed, and it's gonna test it based on megabits per second. And for reference, one megabit per second is equivalent to about 1000 bitrate, give or take a little bit. So run the speed test, and if you have anything over than six megabits per second, then you're fine to run pretty much any bitrate. Twitch recommends not going above a 6,000 bitrate, and even partners are capped at about 8,000 bitrate. So for 720p, I recommend anywhere from about 2,000 bitrate to 3,500, again, depending on your internet. I run about a 3,000 bitrate, even though I have about a 68 upload speed. So the next big thing to adjust is gonna be the encoder setting. So usually you have two options for encoders. You have the X264, which is your CPU encoder, and then you have hardware and bank encoder, which is gonna be your GPU encoder. It's NVIDIA specific encoder that's a lot better than X264. So if you have the option to run NVENC, definitely run NVENC. It's much better and it pulls the load more onto your graphics card rather than your CPU, which is X264. 
but don't worry, it's not gonna pull resources away from rendering games or anything like that. The NVENC encoder is a separate chip on your graphics card that won't take away from anything else. Go hardware NVENC if you have that option. But don't worry, if X264 is your only option, there is some things we can do to optimize that one as well. Which brings us into the next thing to adjust, which is CPU usage preset. You're gonna wanna go into your settings and go into Streamlabs OBS output settings, and you wanna run this as advanced. Once you have it into advanced mode, you wanna scroll all the way down to the CPU usage preset, and this will open a drop down menu. So the options towards the top of the menu, so ultra fast, super fast, really fast, those are gonna use less of your CPU. Scroll all the way down to the bottom, it's gonna use more of your CPU. So in order to optimize this, we wanna run this at super fast or ultra fast or really fast. From my experience, super fast seemed to be the best option. I didn't see too much of a difference between super fast and ultra fast. Again, you may wanna play with this a little bit and see what works better for you. But I suggest running super fast as your CPU usage preset. This will bring the load down on your CPU quite a bit. So the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is optimize our overlays. So we're gonna to wanna to stick to nothing but static overlays because animated overlays are very intensive on the computer themselves. So your webcam border, your be right back screen and all that, let's use static overlays rather than animated overlays. Another thing we can do with the overlays is use something like streamelements.com and consolidate all the sources that make up our entire overlay and use only one browser source at the end. So stream elements will take everything you got and you can edit your overlay to one browser source which is a lot easier on the CPU to render the one browser source rather than the however many sources you have set up for your overlay. So the next two things we're gonna do is change some settings in Windows itself. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open up your task manager, find your stream software of choice, right click it and set the CPU priority to a higher amount. And what this is gonna do is convince your computer to allocate more CPU resources to the stream itself. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is again, find your stream software of choice, right click it and click run as an administrator. And this is gonna usually run it a little bit better overall. Now the last thing that I would recommend doing after you've run through all other options and your stream is still lagging, change the FPS values from 60 down to 30. And the reason I recommend doing this last after you've run through all the other options is because if you're playing any fast paced games, you're definitely gonna wanna run it at 60 FPS. However, if you have no other options and you've tried everything else, then go ahead and switch this down from 60 to 30 frames per second. So I did promise you guys some tools that you can use to analyze your stream while it's currently live. And the first one we're gonna look at is Twitch's Inspector, which is Twitch's own built-in analyzing tool that'll check out your bit rate and any encoder issues that you're having, which is inspector.twitch.tv. I don't have a link for it in the description below. And you're gonna go ahead and log in with your Twitch account. Go ahead and click Authorize and it should pop up on your stream. And you can see a live now here section right here, and it'll kind of show you your bit rate and how much it's jumping around. And you do want to see how stable it really is. So it should be a fairly straight line all the way across. What you can do too, is you can click on it and make it a little bit bigger. It tells you how much it's stable up in this corner here. And the next one's gonna be a little bit more in depth, but it's not from Twitch themselves. The next one is gonna be Rich's Analyzer tool, Rich slash Analyzer. Again, I'll have links in the description down below and you're gonna to wanna to type in your Twitch channel. Click go and it'll start to analyze. And right up here, you can see that it was when it was started, this is my test account here. It tells you if your bitrate stability is good. Mine's been stuck at around 22.5 or 2,500. And you can run this as many times as you want just to kind of get a feel for your stream. And it gives you kind of a better indication of what's going on with your stream. Using both of these tools is really gonna give you a better idea of what's going on. So I definitely suggest using these as much as possible if you're having any lag issues. If you guys still need some help after running through this video, I do stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so you can hop in there and ask me some questions. There's a link in the description down below for that. We also have a Discord channel as well if you guys wanna hop in and chat with any other streamers or myself, get any questions answered there, link in the description down below. And as always guys, if you found this video helpful, like, comment, subscribe, it goes a long way to support the channel, and then some relevant content right over here, guys.